New technology coming to West Michigan means better options and hopefully outcomes for people suffering from brain tumors. Dr. Todd Bataz is a neurosurgeon with the Spectrum Health Medical Group, and so we're gonna start off by just talking about the basics. What exactly is a brain tumor? Well, a brain tumor is an abnormal growth or abnormal collection of cells within the brain, and that can be from different areas. It can be from uh, the surface of the brain growing in and pressing on the brain, or they can actually grow in the brain tissue themselves. And those tumors can come either from other parts of the body, people who have breast cancer or lung cancer, the tumor can metastasize to the brain, or they can start in the brain themselves and just grow and grow and grow. Mm -hmm. I've wondered this, when you hear about people that uh, find out that they have a brain tumor, is it typically something that happens um, you know, as you get older? Is it something you're born with that maybe makes you predisposed to having this growth? occur? Yeah, we're, we're not 100% sure exactly what causes them. Most tumors are more common as people age. The most okay. common type of tumor, the glioblastoma, the prevalence is much higher in older people. So it's thought that it's exposures uh, throughout life. And okay. some people definitely have a, uh, some of a, a genetic predisposition to, to get these things. But most people, it's just bad luck. It's just something that happened or maybe something they were exposed to. Uh, we're not really sure. It could be chemicals in the water, chemicals in the air, could be cell phones. There's a lot of controversy about you know, what exactly is causing tumors, and, and, uh, but we do know that the incidence is rising and we're seeing more and more of them. And of course, as the research continues on that front, it's important that you're able to treat people who are presenting today with problems. And you have some exciting new technology that is available to use right here in West Michigan. That is correct. You know, I, w I was hired into the Spectrum community to you know, build a team and to uh, change the face of brain tumor treatment locally so that uh, patients would no longer have to leave the area. So uh, in addition to hiring me, they've really invested in the, in the whole treatment arm. Um, things such as three Tesla MRI, functional MRI, bringing in other staff members, working with current uh, staff members who were already here before I was here, and then things like uh, intraoperative MRI, um, and also things like uh, surgical endoscopy where we can go in and take some tumors out minimally invasively through an endoscope. Uh, pituitary tumors, uh, for example, we can go up through somebody's nasal passages and take a tumor out and they can go home in a day or two with much less pain than what they had many years ago when we used to do it the old fashioned way, break the nose and things like that. So it allows us not only to do it less invasively, but we can do a better job of it because we can see better so we're able to get the more tumor out and have lower complications doing it. Dr. Fataz, how have things changed? You know, you hear about technologies like this that are just going to change the way things are done here in West Michigan. When you started, um, not going to date you or anything <laughs> like that, but um, how different are success rates? How different is the experience, let's say, if somebody that's watching was diagnosed? Unfortunately, with the most common types of tumors, we've really not done a lot in terms of lengthening survival. What, the impact that we've had in the last 10 years is changing the quality of that survival. Mm -hmm. So we're able to control people's seizures better. We're able to keep people functional so that the time that they have left is higher quality time. So it's time that they can spend with their family and be up and be about and be part of society and part of their family. Many of our patients continue to work after their diagnosis and after their treatments, which 10 years ago you really didn't see that. You had a diagnosis of a brain tumor, you had surgery, and it was kind of a downhill slide from there. Mm -hmm. We don't really see that anymore. We see people, most people, were able to maintain high functioning throughout the whole course of their disease. So talk about this new imaging uh, equipment that you have, which has got to be so exciting for you. Yeah, intraoperative MRI is, is very exciting. Uh, what it basically allows us to do is take pictures while we're working. So uh, it used to be that you would operate on a tumor, and we know from experience and from research studies that the more of a tumor we get out, the better that patient's gonna do, and the longer they're gonna live. So we know that if we can get all of the tumor out or most of the tumor out, that patient's gonna do better. Well, in the olden days, you really you couldn't see. You kind of got in there and touch and feel, and you don't want to overdo things because if you overdo things, then you're increasing the risk of complications. Well, with intraoperative MRI, you can take a picture, and you can take a picture while you're operating. So you stop for a second, you get some MRI pictures, and you say, oh, there's some more tumor there. We should take that out, or oh, the tumor's all gone. We really shouldn't push the envelope in this patient. Or in some instances, you can use it to get to a tumor. If a tumor's kind of deeper in the brain tissue, you want to make sure you stay on path and that you're headed right to the tumor and that you don't veer off to one side or the other and, and maybe damage some critical area of the brain. So it's really opening the door for us to be able to do more and more. It'll also hopefully uh, enable us to treat tumors that in the past we weren't able to treat. So we can add in other technologies like using uh, lasers to put into the tumor and heat the tumor 
tumor that we couldn't take out surgically, but to heat it up and destroy the tumor cells that way. Does this really make a better patient experience? Because I've got to think, you know, if that was a diagnosis that someone in my family was facing, it would be so frightening. But to be able to see pictures, to be able to maybe understand a little bit more about what's happening to the body, um, that's just yeah. really changes things. Absolutely, absolutely. And one of the one of the things that we're doing in, in addition to the technology is the human aspect of everything. Mm -hmm. So but where I came from, we uh, we treated brain tumors in what we call a multidisciplinary fashion. We had neurosurgery, neuro-oncology, radiation oncology, we had behavioral oncologists, which are like psychiatrists and, and social workers. And, and we took care of all aspects of the patient care. So the patients could come in and see four, six, sometimes one doctor, depending on what they needed, but we were able to take care of their needs. And we're working on kind of redoing that here and, and building that multidisciplinary team. The mm -hmm. pieces are already here. It's really a matter of putting everything together in the same space and then building from there. And I have to imagine too, having um, had people in my very close family suffer from cancer, how important it is to be able to do that locally. So you have that support network, your friends, your family, your people from church. <clears throat> Absolutely. I mean. You know, it, it's a, a big impact finding out you have something like this, but to find out you have something like this and then have to drive two or four or five miles or hours away to get treated, that's, that's a big deal and it's a, it's a big thing on the family. Well, well, we're thankful to have you right here in our community. Well, thank you. It's been, thank you, it's been great to be here. You're Fantastic. For coming in, sharing this information, we put your information on the screen if you have any great. questions for him or Spectrum Health Medical Group. Get in touch. Great. We'll be right back. This is 8 West.